All right, uh, printer is up and running. Uh, I was able to print some designs based on the images, uh, images from the book. Uh, so it's about the uh, Korean ceramics. Uh, the book was published in 1966, and it's the, the image looked like this, and I traced it and then uh, reprinted. Uh, I actually I forgot to take a uh, the step, uh, but it was uh, 3D printed. As you can see, the print line uh, after printed, uh, wait a few hours or more, depends on. And actually, I was able to smooth the surface. And you can use some sponge or brush and gently smooth out the surface. If you do that, uh, actually, you can get a little smooth surface. Don't do this uh, when the clay is still a little too wet. But uh, after a certain stage, actually, you can uh, do some other stuff on the surface like this one. So uh, if you do that, actually, you can still see the print pattern inside. Hopefully, I can, hopefully you can see it. Yep. And uh, at once you like uh, bisque fire and glaze fire it, uh, you can actually get rid of this uh, print line pretty easily for clay because you know it's clay. Uh, just you need to know when you can do the on the sponge. If you are not sure, you know, uh, like print your piece and then put it into some kind of plastic container or something, put it so it will make it dry very uh, slowly. And uh, if you do that, uh, you can like, keep it like overnight. And after that, when you uh, take out the, the plastic container on it, uh, you can do that. Or if you have a large plastic container, you can put this one inside and then like wait. That's how the ceramicist uh, work with the wet clay as well. Because if it dries too fast, you cannot work with uh, the clay and you cannot do certain techniques. So like, that's kind of how people usually do uh, work with like wet clay. So yeah, I'm gonna like finish some other things. And also if you like, you know, get a little elbow bowl or some like, uh, minor flaw on print. If you do this, you can easily smooth out and like get a decent uh, surface on it. So uh, for example, something like this is one good example of uh, shiny. So you can see the uh, print line and support inside, but outside it's very smooth and metallic feeling because I printed it, smoothed the surface and put a thick metallic coat on it. And that's how it turned into the shape. So I will uh, keep continue printing and also I need to uh, prep some more clay as well. And for that one, uh, I will take another video and then, uh, yeah, I will move forward from there. <laughs>